unlocked door to bust through, and a Red River rival hell-bent on shutting it. With Kyler Murray in charge, Oklahoma has a chance at the college football playoff. But the Longhorns handed them their lone loss and playing spoiler. How sweet would that be? One day, I'ma do it like I never did it. One day, I'ma have the courage to go out and get it. One day, do what I love and support my girl. One day, I'ma shake up the whole world. For the first time in 114 meetings, you can write this down. It's Oklahoma, Texas, for the Big 12 title. There's Kyler Murray, chance to make a Heisman Trophy statement. One last one before the voters turn in their ballots this weekend. He handed it off to Trey Sermon, and a tough nine-yard run taken down by Caden Stearns, the defensive newcomer of the year in the Big 12. Everything he does. Big 12 Offensive Player of the Year. Largely because of that skill, the ability. Oklahoma, the leading scoring team in the country, number one in total offense, and right on target, Marquise Brown collared, and flags come down as a result of that tackle at the Texas 37-yard line. It was Chris Boyd, first team all Big 12 this year, the corner who took him down. Reggie Smith is the referee leading this Big 12 officiating crew. That is a Pittsburgh guy. Talked to him a little bit before the game. He was as excited to do the game as we are. Austin Seibert's had another great year. The Big 12 Special Teams Player of the Year. Field goal kicker, kickoff man, and punter. And that one is up and good. 100 meters. Pass. It was a lateral and a throw by Keontae Ingram. And Colin Johnson was well covered by Trey Norwood. At Ohio State at Nebraska before that. Well respected offensive coordinator, one of the truly good guys in the business as well. Ingram chopped down along the near sideline by Caleb Kelly. Excellent tackle by Caleb Kelly. He had a breakout game last week and get they blitz him on occasion. The Sooners are crowding the line, but rush just three. With others hanging around. Ellinger in trouble. Got back across the line, and that's all. They only dropped three, but they had Bolton kind of as a spy. Now, he's not going to rush. He's going to sit right back here and watch Ellinger. They only rush three, and when Sam starts to leave the pocket, Bolton is there to kind of wrap him up. The last Power 5 program to win four straight conference titles, Florida, 93-96. to Tyler Murray out throwing to the speedy Marquise Brown prior to this year. Murray on third down and four connects with Miles Tees. Texas laying back at the snap of the ball and Miles Tees another catch. He didn't have a catch. Junior out of Hollywood, Florida, nicknamed Hollywood. Here's Kennedy Brooks, one of the most productive running backs. These voters want to get one last look in championship settings at these three contenders, perhaps some others as well. On third and seven, Murray. Now this is a design quarterback draw, and they're going to lead with Kennedy Brooks. All right, so Kyler's going to show pass. The line's going to all show pass, but it's a design quarterback run with Kennedy Brooks as the lead blocker, and Kyler Murray gets the yardage he needs and then gets down. So here's Seibert again, already connected from short range, and this one's from 27. New York looking forward to seeing Mac and sharing in that night with him. He's going into the Hall of Fame, the nation's number one offense. Nearly doubled him up in yardage. Sam Ellinger, 9 out of 13, pulls it down running. That was a long stretch with poor quarterback play. Lots of turnover in coaching staffs as well. Ellinger set. Amani Bledsoe there for Oklahoma. Just his second sack of the season. Really nice play by Bledsoe working on Cosme. They really like this right tackle, but Bledsoe just overpowers him. Just kind of gets him 
backpedaling a little bit, gets by him. And we're midway through the second quarter. Murray has a man open, C.D. Lamb. Caden Stearns finally got him out of bounds, but a big play for OU to the 41-yard line of Texas. Watch C.D. Lamb at the top of your screen on the right side. He's going to fake like he's getting a quick throw, and then he runs by the freshman safety, Caden Stern. He kind of set him up, and Kyler Murray led him perfectly for the big play. So concerned as a defender, Murray is going to turn the corner and run it. Trey Sermon did well to stay on his feet for a moment, and he got driven back. Under six and a half to go till halftime. Third down and eight. Probably four down territory if they need it. We'll see because there's Carson Meyer. Trey Sermon and Kennedy Brooks are running back on either hip. It's Brooks on Murray's right. And it's Sermon. A first down and much more. As he slid through inside the 28-yard line. I actually think they got away with a little movement right here early by Cody Ford before the snap. Got away with it, no flag. Nice lead block by Kennedy Brooks. And a first down for Oklahoma. On first and ten. Murray looking to the end zone, and it is caught! CeeDee Lamb with the Oklahoma touchdown. C.D. Lamb's in the slot, he's running the deep post, Kyler Murray looking right first, then he comes back, he's got single coverage, and he runs by Brandon Jones, the safety, Caden Stearns, the other safety, not there to help, beautiful read by Kyler Murray. To the line, we've seen him flexed out like he was that, playing an H back here. Ooh, Bolton again. He lost his helmet as he renewed his acquaintance with Trey Watson. Look at this collision in the hole again. Reads it quickly. Both linebackers coming on the inside pressure and nobody there to block both. Second and 25. Ellinger out of the gun. Chased by Gallimore. Throws. Incomplete. He might have wanted to run a play that would keep the clock running. It's a screen. It's a good screen. It's Keontae Ingram. And no timeouts for Oklahoma. They've had trouble getting the ball snapped. That could be a factor here in the final minute. But they can score in the blink of an eye. And they're on their way, perhaps. Murray, 51 seconds to halftime. No timeouts on either side. First and 10 Oklahoma from its own 44. Sooners have not led in the game. Baskin again. High stepping his way out of bounds. And thrown down. Baskin had four catches all season long. Now he's had two back-to-back. -back. They're at the 36 of Texas in long field goal range. Murray all day. Throws and a leaping catch by C.D. Lamb. And he is inbounds at the 19. The rule on the field is a completed pass for a first down. Well, no pass rush. Good job by that offensive line in this possession, giving Kyler Murray time to just see what he wants to see. What a catch, but uh, I don't know if he got that foot down. They ran the play. Eye on Calcaterra right here. He's the biggest receiver out there. Longhorns inching toward the line. They bring pressure up the middle. It was blocked, and it's Calcaterra with the Oklahoma touchdown and the lead. Flag down. In the back of the end zone. Watch Calcaterra move a little bit outside, pause, and then cut back in. And that's what drew the holding. Murray, and, and that really started to loosen things up in that late part of the first half. Tyler Murray throws short. C.D. Lamb. Murray sidesteps the rush over the middle and on target. First down to the Texas 42-yard line, Miles Tees. Well, how Murray eludes this. This is a direct path to the quarterback by Gary Johnson. And he just can't get him. 
know. We've seen a couple games the last couple weeks where they've let a lot of that stuff yeah. go. The Big 12 needs to figure out how it wants to call pass interference, what they want to allow downfield and not, because we saw only two called against Oklahoma for 15 yards. Murray keeps it. First down. Sermon wanted to throw it. Runs instead. Sermon touchdown, Oklahoma. We talked about this offensive line, and it's led by a red shirt freshman center, Creed Humphrey. Watch him open this thing up for Trey Sermon. Takes his man completely out of the play. Nice block by Ben Powers, the left guard. Is Ellinger running out of time and ripped down by the freshman Ronnie Perkins. Well, Perkins is right here. He's going to come on an inside stunt. Ellinger has plenty of time early on to make a throw, but he's just not able to find anybody downfield. And at the last minute, Perkins is there for the sack. Oklahoma's defense much maligned this year. was running out of time. Little Jordan Humphrey, a bobbling catch. And it's the true freshman out of Austin Lake Travis High School, Cameron Dicker. One of the heroes of the regular season win against Oklahoma. Kept the game-winning field goal. And that one is off the uprights. Looked like it was deflected, and now it's Robert Barnes, but the play's dead. Oh, a little bit low. By Dicker. Amani Bledsoe. Yeah, Bledsoe, yep, he's the one who got it. And got enough of it that it did not creep over. One of the things he taught him was how to be patient in the pocket. Ran out of time and patience there, wisely so. Weaving along the sideline, a first down. Go through a regular season, average 300 yards per game passing and 60 yards or more per game rushing. Kennedy Brooks. Final minute and a half of the third quarter. Tied at 27. Huge missed extra point by Texas. Field goal against Oklahoma with nine seconds left. Had a great freshman year, but that was a big miss on the block by Bledsoe. That's literally true, but it has to be close. You'd almost like to see him. He could outrace a ball that was 60 yards in the air the way he throws it. Marquise Brown. How about that footwork? Knocked down from behind. It'll be a big blow for him. Yeah. Clearly grimacing as we had the shot of him a moment ago. C.D. Lamb looking like he'll watch the rest of this conference title game. Third down and five. Play clock down to one again. They blitz and didn't get close, and it's a first down. It's Charleston Rambo. Blitz again. Murray. Great kickers in the country. For the lead from 31 off the left. We've seen one hit the crossbar, and we've seen something hit the upright. Cyber knocks it through. That looked like he was going to hook away for sure. Wow, sure did. Got the inside of the left upright. Actually, it looked like he was hooking and then faded back. He did. Was in the meeting of the Cotton Bowl when Oklahoma rallied from 21 down to tie it in the fourth quarter with three late touchdowns. The Horns won on a last second field goal. Sam Ellinger out of time, threw it away. On second and ten, Ellinger the Zion roll. Look out, Ellinger about to get hit as he throws. Johnson flailing around. Won't Trey Watson. Two big receivers down to the bottom together. Pressure. It's blocked. Ellinger throws. And the fans want a flag on Trey Norwood. He'll graduate in a couple of weeks. Three and a half years. Good throw and catch. Grant Calcaterra. Texas from its own eight-yard line. 
Keontae Ingram yanked down immediately by Kenneth Mann. Play fake. Ellinger knocked down for a safety. Trey Brown came out of blitz, and Ellinger never saw him. They call this a cat blitz, a corner blitz from the short side of the field. Ellinger has his receivers to the left. He is not anticipating blitz at all. It's going to come right from here, and Sam never sees it, but he feels it when it's too late. Well, the pass yards are slightly above average for him. The uh, rushing number's down. Here's Trey Sermon. After just six carries total the previous two games. They give it to him again. He weaves for a first down. Sermon again up the middle. Play clock at five. Texas blitzes. Mari gets it off. Open receiver. First down. Lee Morris, the former walk on. High school teammate of Kyler Murray, just down the road in Allen, Texas. Beautiful read. He sees Blitz. He's got single coverage. It's out of his hands. Too quick for any pressure to get to him. 17-yard play on third and six. Sermon trying to get outside. Yanked down by Chris Boyd. Third down and nine. Texas brought a Blitz a moment ago on third and six. And it was an easy completion for Oklahoma. See how Todd Orlando plays this third down and nine. Three and a half to go. Murray under pressure. Man open again. It's Lee Morris again. They won three state titles together in this building. And they might be nearing a conference title today. Outstanding work by Kyle Murray. Just feeling the pocket collapsing, stepping up, and just flicking that ball for the completion to Morris. So nifty in the pocket, good hit by B.J. Foster, and Morris holds on to the football for a huge first down. Morris, Murray, Bobby Evans, the left tackle, all teammates at Allen High School, all those state championship teams. Kyler Murray went 5-0 here at AT&T Stadium in high school, including wins in three championship games. If you're Texas, Todd, I think you have to start thinking about timeouts. Lee Morris, his old high school buddy, didn't have a catch all day. He's had catches on two big third downs. Where will they go on this one? Third down and ten. Two timeouts for Texas. Oklahoma by five. Murray lost one up for Kevin. Oh my gosh. What a catch with wow. the defender on him. It looked like he snared it with one hand. They decided to press really on the outside. Is confirmed. Calcaterra working on B.J. Foster, and it was a one-handed catch from a beautiful throw by Kyler Murray. The touch throw to the outside shoulder, the one-handed catch on third and ten for this Sooner defense in the ballgame. Ellinger. Had a wall in front of him, circled back to get away, incomplete pass for Johnson. Exploit that opening. Ellinger to the end zone. Johnson, who's had a record-setting day, couldn't hang on to that one. From the 19, they've been in the red zone three times previously with three touchdowns. And that one is intercepted. A game-sealing play off the ricochet. Trey Norwood. Wraps up the Big 12 championship for Oklahoma for the fourth year in a row. Obviously a little bit of a miscommunication between Sam Ellinger and Lil Jordan Humphrey. Watch as Humphrey goes out to the outside. The ball's thrown to the sideline. He's moving in. The ball was tipped by Motley and intercepted by Norwood. And another critical stop 
by this Oklahoma defense should just about do it. They were the first team in the history of college football to have 500 yards of offense in each of nine regular season games. Oklahoma, the first Power Five team to win four straight conference titles since the Florida teams of the mid-90s, 93 to 96. First Oklahoma team to do it since the mid-80s under Barry Switzer. And I think, Todd, if Georgia loses to Alabama tonight, Oklahoma's in. They were I think so too. slotted at number five by the committee this week. They certainly didn't do anything, to, in my judgment, that would require somebody would leap over them because they weren't good enough.